indeed a pleasure to announce uh, this uh, the signing of Tom Gilbert for many years. It's a very important signing for the organization. Uh, um, Tom has uh, developed into a uh, upper echelon defenseman, and uh, this contract, and particularly the length, uh, gives me a great deal of satisfaction in the organization, knowing he's going to be here for a lot of years. A real uh, a real pillar of uh, of the franchise uh, we anticipate. And uh, before we go into questions, um, you know we have some other uh, we have a, a group of young players that are really developed in our minds. And um, you know Tom, we feel has led the way. And and uh, besides his play on ice, we really felt that his leadership. Uh, uh, being the older of the young guys, the new guys, uh, was really uh, exemplary. And um, this contract uh, reflects that as well. So congratulations, Tom. Uh, thank you. Thanks. Uh, I don't know. I, I can't begin to describe how excited I am. And, you know, you never, you never would think you'd probably get this far. And, and uh, you know, you dream about it when you're a kid, but this is, you know, this has been first class for me, and uh, I'm so excited, you know, especially after after you know our up and down this season, but the way we ended, and and you know how much fun we had, and the potential we got, and you know I I wanted to be here, and and uh, you know I couldn't ask for a, for a better situation right now, and and this you know playing playing in Canada is is awesome, and especially playing in Edmonton. And uh, you know, being here for six more years is is a uh, is a thrill, and and excited for you know, come back next year, and it's going to be a, a long summer, but it's going to be a fun one, and you know, looking forward to obviously starting the season up again, and, and the organization's been been fantastic with me, and got uh, got every everything you need to you know to to win a championship here, and, and the coaching staff's been great, and. Um, it's uh, it's a very exciting day for me. You know, when you sign long-term contracts, uh, the goal, maybe not obvious to everyone, is to try to anticipate what the market will be, and uh, um, you know, you certainly it, you want the contract to be fair. You always want the contract to be fair, but you also want to put the organization in a situation where uh, we're not always having to look over our shoulder in terms of losing valuable players. And uh, it 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 gives you stability. So um, you know the, the new NHL, uh, the new cap world. Everyone's still trying to figure it out. And uh, you know, I can't believe I'm saying this, but we actually enjoy the fact that the cap goes up now that we're in a so-called big market. And uh, you know, we don't take that lightly, but uh, we want to we want to utilize our our cap dollars and and. Uh, and our overall ability to pay players well. And uh, we think we've done that quite well over the last uh, number of years. And uh, we anticipate this to be a, you know, a solid contract. It's never our goal to have a player um, underpaid at the end of his contract. But uh, if that does happen, then we've achieved what we, uh, uh, which would be a good thing for the organization. We're, we're really doing what we think is, is sound uh, business moves, um, you know, and Alex Hemsky's, and he's a good example. A number of years ago, we were trying to anticipate, uh, you know, when you factor in arbitration. I don't want to go into too much detail what you what you're dealing with, market value arbitration, and then eventually unrestricted status. You have to you have to factor all those things in when you're envisioning um, the long term dollars. And uh, you know, in our case, uh, like I said earlier, we never hope that any of our players will be deemed, you know, underpaid towards the end of their deal. But basically, we're trying to we're trying to do the best possible deal long term for the organization. If you value the player like we did, Alish, uh, saw him play long enough, trusted in his ability, his desire to play the game, his willingness and desire to be here, those are all the factors. Same factors that. Uh, that were in the case of Tom, where uh, we've seen what he is, uh, we know he still is going to improve. Uh, but even if he played the way he did last year, he's a he's a very high end defenseman in the NHL already. 
And, uh, it, you know, he's, he's it was finished his second pro year, but he started in the NHL at a later later time. He played his four year, years of college and then came here, but uh, he has the physical ability, he has the talent, he has the head, and uh, he has the desire to play, you know, a long time. So, uh, and to your point about uh, a number of players, yes, if, you know, I remember a number of years ago when Bob Ganey uh, locked up uh, the core of his team for five or six years and and fortunate for him that team was able to go on and be competitive win one Stanley Cup and challenge for about five or six years in a row so uh, wise move on his part and let's hope it'll be a wise move on our part a couple years down the road you know we have a great sense of the market um, Rick Olchuk who's did all the legwork behind this deal and I thank him for it um, you know, you you analyze what the market is, where you feel the player fits within your organization, your ability to pay, your your cap room, and and as I said a couple of days ago, we we were very comfortable where where we have all our players placed in terms of what we think their dollars will be, our ability to pay, and also our cap room. So um, you know, it, it wasn't like we we're. Uh, fearful in these negotiations, particularly because we're already in the ballpark we, where y you would anticipate if there is going to be an offer sheet that, you know, that that's, uh, you can deal with it. Uh, as much as I'm sure teams in the league would have coveted Tom's services, I'm not so certain anyone would have been coming in with an offer sheet dramatically more than what we offered. Maybe Tom's agent has a different view to that, but and and we still would have been in a position to match. So, you know, I, I, my point is we we're very comfortable with what's happening. I'm not to say that's going to happen forever, uh, but uh, uh, and you have to pre prepare yourself for that. You have to be you have to anticipate that because, as I said last year, that is the new world. It's well, you know, I'm obviously new to this, so I didn't I, I had no idea what to expect. But you know, it's it's you know even only playing one year. Um, just uh, just the way the year went, and 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 you can just you can you can see it, you can feel it, you know, just um, the way we finished, and and uh, it's 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 promising, you know, and and it was fun for me all year, and um, you know, six years is, is is great, and I couldn't be happier, you know, with with uh, with what what happened, and um, I'm definitely looking forward to it.